Hi, Rob here, and coming up on R&B Reviews, a stork and a young woman are on a mission to deliver a baby. I'll have my review of the animated movie Storks coming up. Storks is the latest animated film from Warner Brothers Animation. In this world, storks deliver babies, or at least they used to. After feeling that delivering babies was too dangerous, they now deliver packages for Cornerstore.com. Junior voiced by Andy Samberg is the company's top delivery stork. He's about to be promoted by his boss Hunter, voiced by Kelsey Grammer, provided that Junior doesn't start any big screw-ups. One person who works at the Cornerstone is accident-prone, but a well-meaning woman named Tulip, who is voiced by voiceover actress Katie Crown. She accidentally activates the old baby-making machine when a letter from a boy who wants a sibling reaches the factory. The machine produces an adorable baby girl, and desperate to deliver the baby before the boss gets wise, Junior and Tulip make their first ever baby delivery. Storks, while I don't think was an always laugh out loud film, I thought it was entertaining and good silly fun. For me, what really made the movie were the two lead characters and the actors that played them. I think Junior and Tulip made a really great team and they really have terrific scenes together. They have strong and different personalities. Like Junior thinks he has everything in control and the second he doesn't he flips out. And Tulip is a little more chill of the two, a little bit neurotic and, I th and she can also be very quirky. I think Sandberg and Crown really did a good job at bringing, them, bringing all that out. I thought they had really, they also brought great um, energy to the parts. One sequence that I liked is where Junior puts Tulip in the old mail room at Cornerstone after she causes an accident at the factory and he tells her that she's not allowed to leave the room so to pass the time she creates all these uh, all these different personas and she ends up talking to herself like you know she has a ponytail and then she'll change to another character with a different look altogether it was amusing um, there's a second storyline involving a boy named Nate who's an only child and his parents voiced by Ty Burrell and Jennifer Aniston are real estate agents and they're they always seem to be working and not really finding any time for Nate so while this storyline isn't really as interesting as the main storyline with Junior and Tulip. I really like that it kind of brought some strong points to the film about, you know, you know, setting time aside and putting the technology down and spending time as a family. The movie, I thought, moved at a very good pace. I didn't think it was too quick or it didn't really have any dragging moments, and I, most of the gags, I thought, hit. There are moments where you, the viewer, might logically ask questions like, if storks don't deliver babies, you know, how do people get them and stuff like that, but if you put those questions uh, um, to the side, you'll be, I think you'll be able to enjoy the movie much more. Storks, I think, is a pleasant movie to watch. I thought it was lively, laugh out mo moments when they came, I thought they really came and delivered. Um, I think the move film itself is an amusing film. It's not a deep film, but I think it's definitely worth the view. So for me, I'm going to give the movie a mild see it in theaters rating. All right, that's my review of Storks. Uh, go ahead and post your comments about the movie if you have seen it. And if you're interested, you know, consider being a subscriber by visiting the main page. And you can also check out some other movies that are currently available in the theaters or for you to watch in the comforts of your own home.